Well, today I'm here at Blue Water's brand new showroom here at 31 Commercial Drive in Pakenham, right across the road from Mega Mart. The place is massive. They have upgraded something fierce. They've got a beautiful tiled showroom with all the campus set on display with a big workshop in the back. You want to go out as a couple or go out as a whole family, they've got a camper that's off-grid that will suit exactly where you want to go and how you want to do it. The Dargo is what we've been using throughout the season of going off-grid and has been absolutely phenomenal. It's kept us with power, it's kept us with water, it's even kept us with a cold fridge full of beer and you've got to love that. Okay, so here we are with our Dargo, it's our 15 foot camper. So in tradition with all things blue water, we run a, uh, a slide out kitchen. So all the cooking's on the outside. It has all the hot water, cold water and gas already plumbed in, ready to go. We have a, uh, a fold over table at the back, so you can actually put your barbecue on. We run a top, we run a top of the range Thetford top line stove and also with windbreakers and everything on them as well to protect you during cooking. We're running lights next to your kitchen so you can see what you're cooking. There is flexible lights also to, to look over your uh, bacon and eggs or your steak or whatever else you're cooking. Speakers on the outside. We have a little cafe table or a work table. Illuminated um, handle to get in. Electric steps. All windows are double glazed. It reduces the sound from outside. And in the front here, we run our, our large fridge slide. And this fridge slide runs a uh, cable track here, so you're not gonna get your uh, cables messed up on your fridges. So on the front of the camper here, we run a large storage box, which runs your twin gas bottles. On the front also, we run a Yark Series 750 jockey wheel, water to the front, as well as the DO35 hitch, and of course a handbrake and a breakaway system to make things all compliant and safe. Included in the, uh, the Dargo is a fully enclosed canvas annex, so canvas roof, side walls, front walls, PVC floor, the whole bit ready to go. But we also run a quick uh, FIAM or F45 uh, awning, which is, which is wound out. And you can add things to that as well, so like an anti-flap kit, side walls, front wall, and just shade walls to make your life easier on the road. Okay, so around this side of the camp, we've got a few more luxuries. So onboard hot water service, we run a Gerard instant hot water service here. We run uh, front water tank fillers, rear water tank fillers, and down the bottom it has the access to drain your uh, grey water tank. We run a Thetford uh, toilet here, it's a cartridge toilet very easy to access and slip out and slip in. Outside shower. So outside shower here, hot and cold water can be used, has a shower tent on the side. 15 amp inlet for your, for your mains power and also a, uh, a mains water inlet as well. On the rear, we have uh, twin spares which fold down, which allows you to uh, fold the back down fold your rear out, gives you that big sleeping area at the back, as well as obviously heavy duty stabiliser legs. It's really a functional internal, so we've got king size bed here. Um, both sides of the beds are running uh, bed reading lights, which are switches are there. Also run USB and 12 volt power right next to the bed. There's also some 240 volt connections around the back. Some good storage units here. There's hanging space, there's shelf space that you can use. We run an L-shaped lounge with an adjustable table. You know, if you need to come inside for uh, inclement weather, what better place to sit there? There's plenty of room around here. And also the control for the Red Arc BMS 30. We run the BMS 30 with a red vision display so you can control the whole camper or, or look at the control of the camper through your Bluetooth device. Each window has a fly screen as well as a curtain mode. So you can have had the windows open with a fly screen or you can have it open up totally or you can obviously have your, uh, your curtain to block off everything. Lots of vent, vents around the top with your PVC top. Um, so you can allow wind to flow through. But on top of that, if you're running at a caravan park or you're running a generator, we've got a 240 volt Truma Venter air conditioner on the reverse cycle air conditioner on here, which operates really, really well. What we're finding more and more people are looking for is this ensuite facility. So plenty of room inside the ensuite, big sink, good toilet and plenty of room for the shower with obviously a vent on the top and also a good place to hang your shower. So if you're a little bit taller and you need to get it up higher, well, there's plenty of room to get it there. 
Down here though, we've got some bunks, so a smaller bunk on the top. We don't uh, leave the kids out. We allow them to have a bed reading light, which is controlled here as well. Also have 12 volt and USB power there. And that's the same for the bottom bunk as well. And this is a big king single here. You know, if you've got smaller kids, there's the ability to top and tail them. And, uh, and, and one at one end, one at the other. So plenty of space. Lots of drawers, drawers to put all your gear in. And also obviously a uh, control panel locker where you control everything from your or well, you understand where everything from your water tanks, your grey water tank, um, your reset, your switches to turn each individual item on. Um, and, and it's good to understand what's going on because with 300 watts of solar on the roof, there's a TV area on the roof, so plenty here to enjoy. Uh, light controls here close to the door, so plenty of lighting on the outside as well as plenty of lighting on the inside, so plenty would enjoy.